Hello everyone, welcome to Code Kudos. This is a continuation tutorial from our last JUnit tutorial. Link in description, make sure to watch it. So this is our calculator class that we have created for testing using the JUnit in Java. And this is my JUnit test class. So in this tutorial, let's talk about annotations in JUnit. The first annotation that I want to cover is before all. So it should be written as at the rate of capital B before and capital A all. This annotation is equal to that of before class. Let me define a method for this before all. One main point to note is that this before all annotation should be accompanied by a static method. So we have to define public static void I'm going to print a simple text message. Before all annotation, make sure this particular method runs before the start of all the tests. Whenever I have run my calculator test program, this before all annotations ensures that this method will run before all other methods. Similarly, we have another annotation called after all. After all annotation ensures that that the particular method runs at the end of the all the test has been completed. I am going to define a method like the above method I am going to print a text This after all annotation ensures that this particular method runs at the end of the all the test completion. So moving on with the other annotations such as before each and after each. Before each has the same functionality as before. Similarly, we have another annotation called after each. Before each and after each annotation ensures that, that the particular methods have triggered for each test. For example, for each test, before each annotation ensures that initialize method will run before that test and after each annotation ensures that this teardown runs after the test. So before our test, here we are creating a new calculator object and once we complete our test, we are deleting that old object. Let us check this in action. I'm going to define a test. Let us define one more test for another method that is the subtract. So we have defined it for add. Now let's define for subtract. Now as we have defined our annotations as well as our test. Let us go ahead and run our program. As you can see both the tests have been passed. If you look closely, this is the message we have printed for before all. As I mentioned earlier, this before all method ensures that this particular statement gets printed at the start of the test. And this after all annotation ensures that this particular message gets printed at the end of the test. And if you take a look here, we have calculator created and we have calculator cleared. Similarly, we have calculator created and calculator cleared. So these two statements are part of before each and after each. So this mentions that the new calculator object has created before each test. 
and if I go into the particular test, we can see both their statements. If you like this video, please subscribe so that you don't miss upcoming tutorials and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you.